what's going on guys today I'm gonna be replacing my uh, rear wheel my real rear wheel hubs on the 94 Integra as you guys can see I already took off the the tire so these I get uh, when I'm driving I get a lot of noise like really bad right now because of the brakes but we need to take this off the caliper so these are 214s I believe 214s this metal uh, guard like mud guard or whatever it's right there that's a 10 a 10 right there but from the other side remove this the caliper remove this uh, roller rear roller and this uh, dust covered for the castle nut and then remo remove that so these are the tools I'm going to be needing I'm going to be using it's a four pound four pound uh, hammer sledgehammer a dead blow just in case uh, pry bar screwdriver two flatheads or one flathead it doesn't matter the right there flatheads this is the uh, box wrench 15 the, the 10 and then the, also the 14 but with the, like a ratchet type of thing uh, I got this Pittsburgh Harbor Freight tools uh, impact screwdriver and a torque wrench and then um, some uh, chisel to for the castle nut when you when you gotta hit it back. I'll show you right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is first first remove the calip uh, this bracket. So it'll be that one and the one in there. So that's two number tens. So let me take that off and then show you the next step. All right. I took that number 10 and that number 10. So this is what I took off the plate. So it's not good as you can see in this corner. This piece came off. So I don't know if I'm going to put that back or not. Okay, so what's next? Step number two. We're going to... Uh, where are they at? right here that's one and the other one's right there two so uh number 14 open wrench mm. okay so give me a second but those right there that's one and then the other one's on the bottom so that was a little tight so let me take it off I can't do it one hand so oh, give me one quick second so you need the uh open wrench with the back like ratchet so because there's hardly any space in there because of this so you know boom like that once it gets like closer to the the wire for your e-brake just flip the tool or it should be easy to spin with your fingers and just get it out and then just pull it out the rest of it and just pull it just like that See now, um, there's a washer in there. Don't lose that. All right, next step, you remove the two uh, bolts for the the caliper. Now you get one of these bad boys, a screwdriver. You can stick it through there and pry it out. And if it doesn't come out, like how that one's. 
acting kind of like that. Ouch. You get this bad boy. And you just tap it. What? Okay, so number two. I mean three, that was three. See how easy? Mallet. Uh, I mean, not a mallet, I'm sorry. A dead blow. And that was the part with the screwdriver. So those are out the way. Now we're on step four. The roller part now. Okay, so we got to remove these. This one already don't have it. I don't know if they took it off, they tried or what happened. But I'm going to... All right, so this one, you need a uh, Phillip. And if you cannot, I mean, you could use a regular Phillip, but I suggest you, strongly suggest you, use a uh, impact screwdriver. They're cheap, they work. Uh, they're like, what, $9.99 or nine something, like 10 bucks. But if you have the percentage off, you can get this bad boy for like seven bucks. Okay, so we're gonna use this. This one right there that flew away. This one. Oh, I'm there you go. S2PH3. At the back right there. And it'll tie it up. So that's not what we need to do right here. Right here we need to go left to take it off. So what you do is just kind of like turn it a little bit. And whack it in the back. And it'll come out. So let me show you. Let me shut right there. All right. So here you go. Look. Easy. Put it in there. You turn it. I'm gonna use the dead blow. If it doesn't work, I use the uh, the four pound. See, easy. No stripping. No nothing. That's it. Let me get that out just to show you guys. Okay, let me see. Okay, I got it out. See? Didn't strip it. Nothing. Let's put it over there. See? This one. Okay, so this is the tool. This is the tool. Oh, where is it? Right here. This is the tool. Boom. Really, really good to use on this. When you're doing breakout orders, uh, right there trust me if you want to get them out that easy with this tool man you won't sweat nothing but if you want to struggle then you got to get your drill your bit and you know get it out that way but if you use this tool right here easy so next now okay now you're good to go remove the rotor if it's if it's stuck out now step uh five i think we're on five i'm not too sure but the other step after that it's removing this uh dust cover for the castle nut so we're gonna go over here get this and a four pound okay. nope. And that's it. Now, what's that? Okay, not that, not that. Okay, now, oh, oh well. Now we get this other flathead that's a little thicker. Squeeze it in there and just kind of turn it. Uh -oh. All right, so now. I kind of hit it with this bigger one and just put it in there and keep turning it like that. There you go. That's it. 
the dust cover for the castle knot. Now, next step. Now we gotta uh, and you're gonna need that's where the pry bar comes in but that's the pry bar but the, see how this one's oh, let me see get out Whoa. Okay, the castle nut, and then the nut, it's uh, smashed in there. So what you gotta do, hit it, pop it back out with a screwdriver, or a chisel, a flathead, or whatever. This bad boy, and I did damage it a little bit, cause uh, I guess uh, the, that little hit dent that they go in like to make it go that way so that don't move uh, it was too much so I couldn't get it out and I stuck a screw right there but the thread is still good and everything so we're still gonna use it let's move that over there now this is the hub the other one it was easy to remove I just went like that and it came out Ooh, this one did too so that's the spacer in there. Spacer. There you go. There you go. Move that. And that's all you got. So now all that next. So yeah, it sounds kind of bad. It sounds worse when I'm driving it. So that's it. So now you remove it. Now you get that bright, bright, just like a pad. Just rub it, you know, clean it. Like sandpaper, kind of. But it's not sandpaper, so don't worry. It's not gonna damage it or nothing like that. Just clean it up. Throw some grease in it. Hub, I just threw a little bit extra grease in there. I, I loop that up so just put it in like that, push it back as much as you can by hand. It's fine, you're fine, everything seems good. Spin it, whatever, you're good. All right, step. Sorry about that. Okay, now we put the spacer. Man, do not forget to put this back in. Do not. I did on the other side. On the other side over there. I had to uh, loosen this up again, which it wasn't a big deal, you know. But just don't forget it. Um, it'll be, have a lot of play. Like, it'll be moving, like, way more than that. Way more than that, so. I put the castle nut. Easy money. There you go. So this one's going to be, I guess, torqued to 130 pounds. Something like that. So I'm going to grab the torque wrench. Uh, it's already dented that in there too. Next step after that, you're going to put this thing on there. And just hit it in there. All right, so now I, I, it got dark on me. Look, I already put that. The dust cover for the uh, uh, castle nut. The castle nut cover. I put the, that one back in. Same thing with the same screwdriver uh, impact. Impact screwdriver, that one. Harbor Freight Tools, man. Does the job. So, everything's already good to go. The only thing I'm not, I'm thinking not to put is that. That and that, which is that cover right there. I don't think I'm going to put it because it's broken on that side right there. 
So if I put it, it's like, you know, it's only going to be, hold. you got to put the, I'm going to see, let's see better. Oh yeah, right there, man. Where was it going on? That hole right there, that's where the bolts go to hold the caliper. One and then the other one in the bottom. Somewhere right there where I'm flashing. Right there. So, here they are, right there. Those two big ones. I'm going to put some uh, Loctite, the blue one, and that's it. And that concludes the whole rear wheel wheel hubs or wheel hubs for uh, a 94 integra rear wheel hubs replace so thank you for watching i hope that helps someone else uh for the tools that you'll need or those that i showed so thank you